in case you've forgotten your password to your laptop maybe you're using an administrator account or you just can't remember your password perhaps you forgot or you don't know what you set your password as well um this reset password might not actually help you if you um, didn't create um, a password reset option from the beginning so what you do is you hold down the shift button and then click on restart okay follow the steps you can see once you click on restart it will um, start it will restart the laptop and you see this please wait so after that after a while it will boot again and then you see the um, symbol of your laptop or whatever brand you have either hp acer whatever it is and it will bring you to this option choose an option so we are going to select troubleshoot then we'll select advanced option so we are trying to get a command prompt screen so that we can type in some command to so this timestamp if it gets you to the command prompt for, for some people they might have the challenge that when they click on troubleshoot and then advanced options and then when they click on command prompt it might not um give them that command prompt uh, um, interface for them to put in any code and then it will give you it will tell you to put in password so i know for some people it might be the case but if it's not the case then you are lucky you just need to um, move to the next that um, timestamp which is 2 244 but if you are facing this problem you are still requesting password and it's not showing you the command prompt what you need to do is you need to create what they call a bootable usb drive so what you do with this bootable usb drive is that it will help you to um, boot from the USB there is a video that is going to be in the um, description the, the check the link in the description for a video on how to download or how to create a USB um, this, a USB a, port, a bootable USB then you follow these steps which you can see after downloading the bootable after creating the bootable USB drive make sure you follow these steps so you can pause the video then you follow the steps which you see then once you follow the steps you can continue with the video to bring you to this point you click on next that's when your bootable usb is on your computer you click on repair computer then you go to troubleshoot you click on troubleshoot then go to command prompt and tap on it then you can see it has given us a prompt that's giving us then from here you can continue typing the code so type regedit okay this will bring the registry editor so that we can modify some things in the registry that will help us bypass the the, the password okay so uh, you click on um, hk local machine make sure it's selected then you go to load hive then you scroll down to so you find your pc and select the the largest storage which is your windows c drive so you select windows and then you scroll down and then you are looking for system okay you are looking for system 32 so when you see system 32 you click on it then you scroll down until you see a config folder you are looking for a configuration folder that is it you click on the configuration folder just follow the steps where you can see it so after the configuration folder you see you see system so you click you double click on the system to open this so you can just type in any name we want to create a folder here so you can type any name you want to use unlock okay you can type one two three four five six seven whatever you want to type by facing unlock so i've created the unlock folder so we go back to hk local machine and then we open that particular folder that we just created which is unlock so your own can be anything but my own is unlocked so i will just tap on it and then or you can click on the drop down and then you go to setup you double tap it and once you double tap setup you see some options by the right so you click on cmd line you double click it so after double clicking on it you write cmd.exe okay you write cmd.exe then when you're done you click on ok then you scroll down again we are going to do the same thing for setup type 
so just by the right there you see setup type you click on it as you double tap on the setup type then you change the value from 0 to 1 and then you click on ok make sure you follow the steps the exact steps you see in this video if you skip any part or if you do anything you might notice that it won't work so if it does not work please start the video again and make sure you are following the exact steps you can see so once you are done with that we'll go back to the folder we created and click on it once just tap on it once then you go back to file then go to unload hive and you click on yes so after that you can we are done so at this point you can close this registry and then you can close your command prompt the interface so just click on continue and exit to continue to windows 11 so your system will load up for a bit so you just hold on so as it's modifying it's changing it so what you do what it's doing now what it has done is that it has removed the old password that was on that computer and then it will give you a command prompt for you to create a new password so what you do is type net user then you can type your name you can type john you can type emmanuel you can type sc cyber safe but i prefer creating an administrator account first because it's just very useful to me so you can type administrator slash active then you type colon yes then after this you can put your password but if you don't want to put any password you can you can just hit enter you can hit enter and then tell you the command completed successfully make sure you follow the exact steps write what was written here but your password can be different from what you saw there okay you can use a different password or you can skip the password and just hit enter so now it has brought us to this point the administrator account that was created so i'm putting in the new password that i created and it should let me in after that let's hope this works so it's telling us welcome so it seems like it's worked so if this worked for you please and please go ahead and leave a like it's very important to leave a like and also consider subscribing to this channel it's one way of helping us to keep doing more tutorial videos that will help people so um, go ahead and so if you go to control panel you can see that and if you go to user accounts you can see that the administrator account or your account has been created so thank you i'll see you in my next video please leave a like and consider subscribing